Hey y'all, this is At Home with Miss Joan. You know how I'm always talking to you about buying these big packs of chicken breast and putting it in the crock pot, making broth, cooking it overnight and freezing it. Well today I'm going to show you how I can my chicken. Yes, I said can my chicken breast. That big pack of chicken had seven large breasts in it. See here? Boy, they're big ones. I'm going to just cut them up right now. I washed them. Brought them over here to my clean cutting board, my clean hands, my clean knife, everything's clean. All right. Now, I'm just going to cut me off a piece of chicken. I'm going to look at it, and I'm going to cube it about an inch. I'll show you one of them. See? Here's my hand. There's my thumb. That one's about two inches, but it'll work. Okay? These things are huge. <laughs> All right, again, I'm gonna shoot from a one inch. It's just, just a guide. It's just a chunk, a small chunk of chicken, okay? Right there, about right. So, I'm gonna keep working on cutting up all this chicken, and when I get through cutting it up, I'm gonna show you how I fill my jars. We're over here at the stove section where I've got my cannon all set up, and what I'm gonna do is, I've got my clean jars here, and I'm just gonna fill it up with chicken. I'm gonna fill it up to an inch and a quarter head space, a lot of cannon just is an inch head space for this. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit lower. I'm going to pack my chicken down in there to see, hey, do I have an inch and a quarter? All right, it can hold just a little bit more. See it? Now, to this, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. Now, it's the non-iodized salt called plain salt right here. And here goes in a half a teaspoon. And then this will make its own juice broth. But I'm going to put just a tablespoon of hot water. Uh oh. I'm sloppy. <laughs> all right. And after that, I'm going to what they call debubble, which means get all the air out. That really helps your canning process to do that on everything, okay? Now, after that, I'm going to clean my rim of my jar, because you know we put salt down in there, and that could keep, the, keep it from sealing. So I'm going all around this. I've got it where I'm going down in the inside and the outside, cleaning it with vinegar. And then I'm going to put the seal. And it tells now you don't have to heat these. I still heat them because, oh, you know, I'm going to say that's what Mama did. But anyway, now this one, see, it looks like it's a little dented. Well, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to throw it in away. Because I certainly want all my rings here to not have a hole in it or a dent. All right. Anyway, and you just close it up finger tight. Not real tight. Now that hurts the process. Finger tight, okay? The canner will take care of the rest, okay? And I'm just going to put it over here in the canner. And you can see I've already got three already in there. And I'm going to continue filling up with chicken. I put my jars of chicken over into the canner. And the canner's got three quarts of water in the bottom of it. I've closed the lid. Now I'm just going to wait for steam coming out real good for this for 10 minutes. That's when I put this uh, weight on it. If you're doing the uh, meat, pints, have to pressure can 75 minutes. So that's how long these are gonna go. And quarts have to pressure can 90 minutes. Same way with your dry beans if you're doing them. But so we're just gonna see what happens today on this. We're looking for some good chicken to come out of this. You can see the steam's coming out really strong right here. And I let it come out for 10 minutes. Oh, this little safety valve here, it always needs to pop up right here, so you always need to make sure it pops up. And I waited 10 minutes, so I'm going to put my 10 pound weight on here. And now we're going to start the clock on 75 minutes for my pints, and if there was quartz in here, I would start me a 90 minute clock. Our time is up, and after our time passed, I let it, the whole canner cool for an hour, took the lid off, and I'm taking my chicken out. Look, look. See how it makes its own broth? See, this is still bubbling in there. I did all I done, if you remember, is put a tablespoon of water and then uh, it makes its own broth. So that large pack, if you'll notice, made six pints. Now I'm gonna make myself a personal note and the next time I can chicken, I'm gonna do two packs, because that's what I've been doing. But I just had one pack today. So the six pints didn't fill up the bottom of my canner. So you got, uh, 
I decided, well, it holds nine pints. Why don't I use that same amount of surface and can something else at the same time? Which that would be a separate video on explaining this, but I can three pints of uh, dry beans because the bottom of my canner holds nine pints. We'll talk about that in another video, but right now I'm just tickled to death about how my chicken turned out. And what I'll do is I'll just do like Mama did. I'm going to cover it up with a towel, you know, and let it sit overnight and check it tomorrow. I spent $17.17 on that pack of chicken. I've got six jars, and that divided out to $2.86 a jar of some good chicken that I can make with a lot of recipes. And if you'll remember, I had cold chicken, I had a cold canner, I had cold jars. Because if you're cold packing stuff, then you, everything across the whole spectrum needs to be cold. You're hot packing the same thing. Hot water, hot jars, hot product. So uh, other things I could have put in this is garlic powder, a little thyme, or some poultry season, but I didn't. I just seasoned it with a little salt. So when I go to put it in a dish, I can put, add to it whatever that I want to. So I hope you enjoyed this video of canning chicken. And this is going to come really handy. And what I like is it gives me some shelf-stable protein for my pantry. And it's always good if you can make it yourself from at home with Miss Joan. Well, I was editing Mom's video and I realized that she never asked you to like and subscribe. So if you've enjoyed this video, if it's been a help to you, please hit like. Please subscribe to her channel. She would really appreciate it.